In the last video Buzzy told me about GAN or Generative Adversarial Network. He explained everything about current variations of GAN with clear examples. Today I want to learn about the current most advanced and futuristic artificial intelligences from Buzzy. Let's see what he can suggest. Hey Buzzy, can you tell me about any futuristic AI? Hey Lena! Today I'll tell you about two advanced artificial intelligence technologies. Also, I shall reveal a surprise gift for aspiring students like you at the end of this video. Ooh, I'm excited to learn about different AIs. What are the two technologies you want to talk about? The first one is Cognitive AI, and the second one is Quantum AI. I think Cognitive AI comes from Cognitive Computing, right? I have heard those terms but have no idea about them. Well, Lena, Cognitive Computing is a fancy term for computers that can think like humans. It's like giving machines the ability to reason, learn, and process information the way humans do. As for Cognitive AI, it's the application of cognitive computing to artificial intelligence, making AI systems more intelligent and interactive. It's a type of AI that simulates the ability of the human mind. You know, like when we can perform tasks such as learning, understanding natural language, recognizing objects and emotions, and making decisions. Think of it like a robot that can think and make decisions like a human, you can refer to any good robot from any movie like Megan, Wally, Chappie, AXL, etc. Wow, that sounds cool. Can you give me an example of cognitive AI? SoftBank Robotics, which previously called Aldebaran Robotics, has developed a robot named Pepper. Pepper is programmed to entertain and help people. Pepper has the ability to learn from its interactions with people and improve its performance over time. It can understand natural language, recognize emotions, and respond accordingly. And it can make decisions based on the situation. So, how would Pepper use its cognitive abilities? Let's say one day, Pepper is asked to help a person who is feeling sad and lonely. Pepper uses its cognitive abilities to understand the person's emotions and respond with empathy. It suggests activities that the person might enjoy and offers to keep them company. That's so cool! So, can cognitive AI make decisions like humans? Definitely! With cognitive AI, machines can analyze data, interpret complex information, and even make decisions based on that information. It's like having a virtual brain that can help us solve complex problems and make better decisions. Plus, you don't have to worry about the AI getting emotional like humans do. Buzzy, can you explain the difference between deep learning and cognitive AI? Both look similar to me. Sure, Lena. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves training artificial neural networks to recognize patterns and make decisions based on large amounts of data. It's like teaching a computer to recognize cats from dogs by showing it thousands of pictures of both. I have explained all about deep learning in this video. Cognitive AI, on the other hand, is a broader term that refers to systems that can understand, reason, and learn like humans. It's like giving machines the ability to think, learn, and interact with the world in the same way that we do. So, while deep learning is one of the tools that cognitive AI systems can use, cognitive AI encompasses much more than just deep learning. It's like the difference between a toolbox and a fully functional robot. The toolbox contains the tools you need to build the robot, but the robot is much more than just the sum of its parts. Okay, now my confusions are clear. What are some recent developments in Cognitive AI? Well, Lena, there have been some amazing developments in Cognitive AI recently. For example, IBM's Watson has made significant strides in natural language processing and can now understand human speech and text with incredible accuracy. You reminded me about Dr. Watson, Sherlock Holmes' assistant. And where is Cognitive AI used? There are many other applications of cognitive AI, Lena. For instance, in the medical field, 
cognitive AI can help doctors make more accurate diagnoses by analyzing patient data and medical records. In the automotive industry, cognitive AI can assist in autonomous driving systems by interpreting traffic patterns and making real-time decisions. And, in the financial industry, cognitive AI can help detect fraud and financial crimes. Wow, that's amazing! So, what's next for cognitive AI? Well, Lena, the future of cognitive AI is very exciting. With the development of new technologies like quantum computing and the advancement of machine learning techniques, we can expect to see even more intelligent and interactive systems in the near future. Who knows, maybe one day cognitive AI will be able to outsmart even the smartest humans. But until then, we can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Now Buzzy, can you explain quantum computing? Sure thing, Lena! Quantum computing is a type of computing that relies on the principles of quantum mechanics to perform calculations. Instead of using bits, the ones and zeros of traditional computing, quantum computing uses quantum bits, or qubits, which can represent multiple states at once. This allows quantum computers to solve problems that would be intractable for classical computers, such as factoring large numbers or simulating complex chemical reactions. What about quantum AI? Quantum AI is the application of quantum computing to artificial intelligence. It involves using quantum algorithms to speed up machine learning and other AI tasks, as well as developing new AI algorithms that take advantage of quantum computing's unique capabilities. I see. Can you give me an example? Sure. Let's say a scientist wants to find a cure for a disease. The scientist has a large data set of genetic information that they need to analyze in order to find a cure. A classical computer would take a long time to process the data and find a solution, but a quantum computer can process the data much faster. Wow, that sounds really advanced! Are there any practical applications of quantum AI? Absolutely, Lena! Some potential applications of quantum AI include drug discovery, financial modeling, and climate modeling. For example, Quantum AI could help researchers develop new drugs by simulating the behavior of molecules at the quantum level, which would be much faster and more accurate than current methods. That's incredible! What are the potential benefits of quantum AI? Quantum AI has the potential to revolutionize fields such as machine learning, optimization, and cryptography. That's really interesting! But I have one more question, when will we start seeing quantum AI in action? Well, Lena, quantum computing is still in its early stages, and quantum AI is even more nascent. However, researchers are making steady progress in developing new quantum algorithms and hardware, and some early demonstrations of quantum AI have already been shown. In recent years, many startups like Xanadu, Regetti, Quantum Inspire by QTech, Oxford Quantum Circuits, OQC, are working specially in quantum computing and AI. Google has even launched their own quantum AI cloud services accessible at quantumi.google. Also, IBM has released its quantum cloud services called IBM Q Experience. Quantum Dash Computing, IBM.com, Amazon released their quantum AI platform called Amazon Breakit and Microsoft is providing Azure Quantum from their Azure platform. So, while it may be a while before we see widespread use of quantum AI, the future looks very promising. Woo, I have learned a lot for today. What's the surprise gift you mentioned earlier? Today, I will show you an entirely free platform by IBM where you can take courses on artificial intelligence, data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity and different modern programming languages. They have over 80 courses and millions of students have already enrolled and completed for free with badges and certificates. The platform is called CognitiveClass.ai. That's amazing, Buzzy. Thank you so much for sharing this information with me. No problem, Lena. It was my pleasure. And if you want to learn about other advanced AI technologies, check out this playlist.
New videos on real applications of AI are coming soon at AI Buzzy channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and keep the notification bell on to get the latest video as soon as published. Thanks for your time and I hope you have already liked the video.